<laughs> Funny, you should mention, you stop yourself from saying TNA, and then you went, Impact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is our first bit of news, Shane. Impact okay. are renaming themselves. Oh, really? Wow. Yes. Who knew? <laughs> to TNA. Oh. <laughs> the time warp, right? It's like, like you, you know, did the thing on like, he, he. yeah. Right? He's looking at the camera. It's, uh, yeah. And what's the story behind that? Uh, I think it's probably because people have been calling it TNA ever since it was renamed <laughs> Impact. So yeah. it's just it's, it's it's like X and Twitter. I don't think it's ever going to fully stick. So uh, announced yeah. on Saturday's Bound for Glory pay per view. We're recording on a Sunday morning your time, so this is pretty yes. hot off the press, as it were. Uh, Impact revealed the name change in a pre-recorded video. Impact Wrestling President Scott Demore said, "We still hear the TNA chants wherever we go. Fans have longed for TNA Wrestling, so that's what we're bringing back in 2024. TNA Wrestling, we're back." And then they had the logo out. And it's the exact same one as the uh, original pointy, long, thin logo uh, with like yeah. some yellow instead of gold. But that's pretty much it. Does I w- does that mean I anything to you? It, no, I mean I wonder if it has something to. I mean, first of all, you're right. Everybody still calls it TNA, right? And I, like you said, like how I you know, proffered into that because honest people out there watching, I, we hadn't previously no. discussed this. Uh, the uh, I'm wondering though, like the way my brain works, was there something with copyright law? You know, that the Dixie Carter, the Carters, possibly. I don't know what it's been so long since I've looked into that kind of stuff, but my guess would be there probably be something like that that it was, you know, owned by to a certain point and then let lapse. And when I, if I were, if I, God, it's, again, it's been so 25 years since I looked at that stuff, but uh, I think when, like, like when I had, the, you know, the, the protections of the uh, franchise, triple threat and all of that, uh, uh, it was really convoluted. You, you couldn't just do the franchise Shane Douglas because then somebody called themselves the franchise James Romero, and that's different. So you had to do the franchise Shane Douglas, the franchise Shane Douglas, triple threat. You had to do all these different things, and then there's like I think 51 different classes that you have to do for each one if like that you want to protect it in. Uh, but it, it like if it lapsed, like if I let it lapse, there was a grace period that like you couldn't come in like day one and snatch it up. You know, like they would come back to me and say, "Hey, there's a guy that wants to buy the franchise. It's still yours, but you have to, you know, pay these fees." So my guess would be there was probably something like that with it as well. Um, but you know, it's like you said, you know, people are going to say, "How many times you heard uh, X previously, you know, previously known as Twitter?" I um, mean, you know, how long are people going to say that? It's going to, you know, people are going to say Twitter ten years from now and, and know what you mean. Uh, same thing with TNA. So uh, interesting. 